Welcome back. The NGOs in the Spotlight event has become an annual beacon shining a light on the incredible work that non-governmental organizations do. Beyond that, it also serves as a platform to foster new partnerships and collaborations by showcasing both their successes and challenges. Now in its second year, this event is organized by the Umbrella Initiative. We're pleased to be joined by the founder and chairperson of Umbrella Initiative, Alicia Di Pieri, to share more with us. Alicia, good evening and welcome. Hello, Nina. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. So this is the second edition. Yes of the NGOs in the Spotlight yes. event. So talk to us firstly on, on you know, what inspired you to create um, mm -hmm. this event for the NGOs. Yes, um, the first one was uh, held eight months ago by Back to School Namibia. At the time, Back to School Namibia, another uh, uh, Namibian NGO needed volunteers. And instead of benefiting only Back to School Namibia, where I also um, am a volunteer and president, uh, we decided to expand this event to other NGOs and uh, work together to find volunteers and to outreach. So this is how the NGOs in the Spotlight idea came to place and uh, we presented uh, a nine NGOs at the time and this year, in this, um, this uh, second edition, we will have 22. Uh, NGOs in one space. Fantastic. So, yes. Tell us a bit about your primary uh, mission and goals of the organization mm -hmm. as the host of the events, mm -hmm. which is Umbr Umbrella Initiatives. Yeah, Umbrella Initiatives was born because um, we noticed that many NGOs, especially the small uh, and medium NGOs, are doing a great work but they cannot do it alone. And there's a lot of silos among the NGOs. Um, so we are trying to break those silos and create space for network. Um, so um, basically, Umbrella Initiatives tries to support NGOs. So our beneficiaries are the NGOs that are already working with uh, people in need. And we offer them three uh, channels of work or three programs. We are a hub for donations. So uh, many volunteer, many donors uh, have um, the donations, but they don't know where to bring the shoes, where to bring the clothes, where to bring the books, where to bring leftovers from the kitchen, so it's supply. So we take everything and together with the NGOs that are in our network, we organize the donations and we channel them to them. So it's a very efficient way for the donors, so that encourages donations. And then it also is a much more uh, f uh, easy for the NGOs. They support each other because we do the uh, distribution together and they get what they need, exactly what they need because they they have a lot to select from. This is one. The second one is we give them training. And so we offer them, uh, because normally the small NGOs are one, two, three, four, uh, men show or women show and we need to do accounting, marketing, um, leadership, uh, volunteer management, you name it. So we offer them workshops for free. For that we have a very generous experts that give their donation is a time. Um, so we have experts that give this workshop for a lot of money uh, on their private capacity but to the NGOs they offer for free. Um, for the NGOs that are in our network. So that's the second area. And then sometimes NGOs are lacking a little bit of a push to perform better. So what we do as Umbrella Initiatives is we run our own fundraisers and we support them in a specific need. So uh, we fundraise for a gas freezer for physical active youth, uh, an industrial blender for side by side. So basically we try to see and in discussion with NGOs what they need and we, need, we try to provide them. So those are the three areas of work. Incredible work that you do, Alicia. But of course, nothing comes without challenges. And yes. NGOs, I know, do have a lot of challenges, yes. especially in the area of funding. Yes. Um, but I don't want to preempt. Perhaps in your own, uh, perhaps in your own words, tell us, yeah. you know, what are the main challenges mm -hmm. that NGOs face, you know, in achieving their objectives? Yes. One of the main uh, problems is that most of us are on volunteer basis. So may, very few NGOs uh, do have paid staff. So most of us are doing this on top of our um, normal life, nine to five work and motherhood, family life. And we put a lot of weekends in. Um, so that's a big struggle, but there's a lot of beautiful persons out there. Um, last year, last, in the last edition of Umbrella Initiatives, uh, sorry, from the NGOs in the spotlight, I, I walk in being Umbrella Initiatives, me and my friends, <laughs> and I left that event with 10 board members and 40 wow. volunteers. Oh my so gosh. yeah, I had a lot of wow <laughs> events. I get goosebumps <laughs> because this shows me that uh, and shows everybody that there's a lot of people that wants yes. to help. So yes. I think 
Um, this is a struggle, but it's a struggle that we overcome um, mm -hmm. with, uh, with a lot of uh, help. Yeah. And the other you, uh, you announced in the, in the question is funding. And for that, we are preparing a fundraiser workshop for our NGOs. Mm -hmm. um, normally, we are uh, very small NGOs, um, and the main need is how to as the funding to assist our beneficiaries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we try to solve that through workshops. But every NGO has different needs. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. it's very difficult to tackle them all. Mm -hmm. So we offer the training to all of them, and then they decide whether they take that training or the next one. There's no limit. They can take all, the, all of them or none of them. Yeah. 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 As much as your work is wonderful um, and, and great that you do, how do you assess the impact of what it is that you do? Um, well, it's in the discussion with the NGOs because our beneficiaries are other NGOs. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, it's not yet totally public. But for example, we gave a workshop in website development. So the NGOs could do the website by themselves um, because it's something that normally is very costly if you hire someone. And what we gave them is the tools to run a website by themselves. And I know that there's now a website that is running for an NGO that didn't have an, a website right, before. Right. So it's these little changes that happen in the NGOs. Um, so if our training is useful to them, we can see this. Uh, if more donations are coming to us, we can also see that the system is working. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Umbrella Initiatives is only eight months old. Mm -hmm. um, so these eight months have been very intense and it has shown us all the time that yeah. there's will. You've said that this year there's uh, 22 NGOs yes. under the spotlight. Yes. Um, just to give them a platform and to mm -hmm. let people hear their names if they yes. haven't heard them before. Who are yes. they? We will have um, 22 NGOs, but of course we would like them all to speak, but then we will need like a three, a three days Congress. We don't have that time. <laughs> so we, uh, we are trying to do it on rotating basis. So we will have nine NGOs that will be speaking. Uh -huh. Uh, in uh, 10 minutes, um, maximum 10 minutes. So really targeting what they do, uh, how they do it and what they need. Those are the three guiding questions for all of them. Um, they have 10 minutes just to pitch on what they do. And then we will have the other 13 NGOs that will have tables to discuss. So we are inviting to the, to have the audience. We are inviting the general public. If you don't know anything about NGOs and you want to know, this is a perfect opportunity. There's going to be 22 of them. Um, donors that are looking for potential collaboration, even other NGOs that also want to see what other NGOs are doing. What we try to do is also to learn from each other. So we should not keep the, the knowledge that we gather through our experiences, we should share it. So we try to put similar NGOs together so they can um, benefit from each other. And I will say the nine that are presenting, otherwise it, the list is very long. Uh, the nine that will be talking, uh, uh, pitching this, uh, in this edition are TV Free Namibia, Equal Aid Awareness Foundation, Child Protection Association, EMA, that is a free ambulance for those that do not have uh, insurance, Marembo Charity Foundation, Havana Charity Foundation, the Nam Namibian Animal Welfare Association, Kambashu Institute, and the Namibian National Children Hearts Trust. So we have a little bit of child protection, women empowerment, um, mobility, uh, um, uh, green gardens. We, we try to have a big, big picture of the great work that NGOs do because we cover a lot of topics. Yeah. <laughs> yes. When exactly is it happening, Alicia? Yes, this is next Wednesday, mm -hmm. the 23rd of October at the FNCC. This is the Franco Namibian Cultural Center. This is 118 in Robert Mugabe, diagonal from the National Theater. Uh, the entrance is for free. Uh, we would like to know if you are coming so we can accommodate everybody. Yeah. So if um, you plan to come, please register. You can find all the information in our website. This is www.umbrella minus uh, initiatives plural dot com mm -hmm. you will have all the ngos that are presenting the, the program and also the link for registration but the, the registration is for free yeah yes fantastic well thank you so much for your time anything Thanks. else you'd like to add in conclusion um, no if anyone wants to know more about the ngos please come we need hands mm -hmm. a lot of ngos need hands a lot of ngos need partners a lot of ngos need donors and the more we are the more we can do yeah Exactly. Yes. Alicia, all the best. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you so much for your time this Thanks evening. Thanks to you. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> that was Alicia Di Pieri speaking to us about the NGOs Under the Spotlight event happening next week, Wednesday. Great, great, great initiative under the Umbrella Initiative. If you'd like to get more information on it, if you'd like to participate, um, you can go onto the social media website, as she mentioned, and get all the information from there. We'll be right back after this.